Go on then, explain this. So this is the Taylor series. It's a tool we use in math to turn scary functions into friendly polynomials. Remember, a polynomial is just a combo of numbers and variables like this raised to different powers. All right, can we just work through an example? Sure, let's do it for e to the x. The purple curve up there is how it's meant to look. Okay, so how do we break e to the x down? So this here is the formula for the Taylor series. And to rebuild our function, we just gotta find each of these terms. Wait, what does that letter A mean? It's basically whichever position along the x-axis Axis we build the polynomial around. So as we start adding these terms, A is the spot where our creation will be most accurate. Let's just set it to zero for this example and watch what happens. Hang on, x minus zero is x. Nice simplification, bro. Now before we go any further, remember the derivative of e to the x is also e to the x. This means that the second derivative, which is the derivative of the first derivative, will also be e to the x. And so will the third derivative, fourth derivative, and all the others. So for that first bit, f of zero is just e to the zero, which is one, right? Yeah, exactly. And all these derivatives with zero plugged in will also be e to the zero, so they'll also all simplify to one. Wait, but what's up with the exclamation marks? They just mean factorial. So the two factorial is two times one, and the three factorial is three times two times one, and so on. Okay, now check this out. Here's our Taylor series with the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth And if term, Elon keeps adding term, these terms term, forever, term, eventually term. we'll end up fully recreating e to the x.